everyone, this is Suki from Aptipool. Great to see you guys again. We have recently had the opportunity to visit Canon, the company behind Avion Miners and also the first niche that listed hardware manufacturer in the Bitcoin mining industry. They shifted the first Bitcoin mining ASX back in 2013. And after 11 years of the renovation, we are excited to test their latest product, the Avalon A1566. While still in pre-order, we are giving you a sneak peek at its real-world hash rate and performance metrics. Let's dive right in. According to the official documentation, the A1566 is capable of producing 185 terahash at 3420 volts of power usage. This gives it a power efficiency rating of up to 18.5 volts per terahash. In comparison, last year, A1466 models has had an efficiency of about 23.3 watts per terahash. This makes the latest model around 20.6% more efficient, resulting in massive energy savings and increased profits. Now, let's take a look at the A1566 in action. For this demonstration, we will need an FTP account which grants us access to some great monitoring tools. Just log in, then set up a sub-account which will later be added to the configuration in the machine's backend. Time to power up. We have connected the machine via Ethernet, and the familiar sounds of the ASAC spinning up towers is ready to mine some sex. We will give it a few minutes to warm up and sign with f 2 After about 30 minutes, the machine has reached its standard hash rate levels. The local hash rates has now easily exceeded 185 terahash per second, and noise levels are stable at around 60 decibels, while the minus temperature is roughly 31.5 degrees Celsius. The minus power consumption sits steady at 3420 watts, in line with the official documentation from Avalon. At this point, we have moved the miners to a stable testing environment for about 3 days. To get more extensive data on how the A1566 performs when running over tap. After 15 minutes, we can see the local average hash rate has reached 175 terahashes per second. And after about 1 hour of run time, the local average hash rate stabilized at 185.5 terahashes per second. We also check in at the 2 day mark an average hash rate set at 186.9 terahashes per second, with the power consumption remaining stable around 3431 volts. We kept the miner running to get more data. Now we can take a look at the actual pool performance. By examining the hash rate graphs, we see the stable trend with a close occasional peaks above 200 terahash per second. On the worker page, the bar chart displays the machine hash rate range. Over the course of the day, the machine was running between 182 to 192 terahash per second, giving us the daily average of 187.7 terahash per second. The hash rate loss to the mining pool was quite low, with a projection rate of just 0.06%. Impressive performance overall. So now, for the big question, how does this performance translate into rewards? By taking a look at the revenue details for the three days we tested, we can see the average hash rate of 187.37 terahash per second. This means the machine earns about 14,056 satoshis per day, with Bitcoin at an average of 62,803 US dollars in July, and the electricity at around 7 cents kilowatt hours. Daily net profits comes out to $3.08. In conclusion, the A1566 is an excellent choice for the majority of Bitcoin miners, with impressive industry leading performance for an air cool model. Our measured performance metrics are overall consistent with the official numbers, which are perhaps even a little conservative. I think the A1566 is set to be a top in mining farms worldwide, with bulk shipments starting soon. The sales number of this machine can be a useful indicator of the network hash rate growth in the future. What are your thoughts on this miner? Will you be upgrading? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more mining content from f 2 And don't forget to click like and subscribe before you go. Bye for now, I will see you guys soon. Enjoy the new mining